we have had an incredible four days. We opened this event on Friday with a grinning moment. And if you go to the Kasarani Stadium today, that whole ecosystem, we have planted the seed of a sustainable botanical garden that is now going to be part of the Kasarani ecosystem thanks to Youth Connect Africa Summit 6th edition. And I want to thank everybody who took the time, including Madam Mauna here, my colleague ministers, ministers uh, Bangura, my brother minister from Saharawi, my brother minister from South Sudan, who joined us for that special occasion to plant trees. From Saturday, the young people of Africa have gathered here in different spots in this iconic Kenyatta International Convention Center. And we have had conversation after conversation. Your Excellency, I have sat in several of those conversations and I have had the youth of Africa imagine. They have imagined an Africa where they have a central role to play. An Africa that respects the mantra of for youth, by youth, of youth. Where the young people have a central role to play in everything that concerns them. I have listened to the youth of Africa imagine a borderless continent, a continent that allows free movement of people, of goods, of services, of ideas, where you can be in Turkana and trade with someone in Timbuktu. You can be in Port Elizabeth and do trade with someone in Casablanca. You can imagine an idea in Mauritania and see that idea in action in Central Africa Republic. That is the kind of Africa these great young people have imagined. These youth have also imagined an Africa driven by innovation. An Africa where they can innovate, they can ideate, but they can transition their innovation and their ideas to entrepreneurship. And we witnessed here, Your Excellency, examples of innovations of young people. We saw a young Kenyan who has innovated around transforming plastic waste into green cooking gas. Zach is right here with us, with his innovation. We have seen Zach here is a young man from Kiambu County here in Kenya. We have seen a young man from Mali who has innovated around drone technology. And he was able to demonstrate here how this African-built drone can be flown to offer solutions to challenges facing this continent. Essentially, Your Excellency, we have seen young people who believe in the mantra of African solutions to African problems. And they have those problems in the palm of their hand. All they are asking for, give us the space to deploy these innovations to transform Africa. We have also witnessed here youth who are ready to work. And they are saying they are not limiting themselves to white collar jobs. Some will become doctors, some will become lawyers, some will become accountants and teachers, but they are also saying they are ready to hustle, Kenyan style hustle. They are ready to hustle in the creative industry, deploying their talents in music, in theater, in film, in fashion, in pageantry to build sustainable livelihoods. They are also ready to deploy their talents in sports, in culture,
to support sustainable livelihoods. And so I want to assure you, Your Excellency, we did not come here to idol. We did not come here to gallivant. We did not come here just to roam around. We came here to imagine a new Africa, an African renaissance. And I can tell you, Your Excellency, as we close this afternoon, Africa is in a better place because of this incredible youth of our continent. I want to assure you, Your Excellency, that at the end of this summit, we know exactly what next. We know exactly what next. And we have also committed that this must not be a talk shop. This must not be a talk shop where we just come and talk and then read communiques and then wait for the next party. We want to see action. And so among the things we have agreed on is that the innovations that have emerged out of this gathering will be progressed to businesses and entrepreneurship to offer jobs and opportunities for youth across this continent. We have also committed, Your Excellency, that we'll follow up firmly without any equivocation or ambiguity or circumlocution of any nature on the commitments made by African presidents on visaless travel and visaless access. And we want to start seeing Africa indeed becoming open to the youth of this continent to move and to do business and to interact. We have also decided that on the big agenda today of climate change, the youth of Africa will take the lead through the Million Youth Green Army on Climate Adaptation. And this project, which has been initiated here in Kenya, between the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, working with the Global Center on Adaptation, the University of Nairobi, and the Dutch University of Groningen, is now ready to go Pan-African, and will be spreading it across the whole continent of Africa. And finally, Your Excellency, we have decided that because the creative economy Creative industries hold so much promise of offering dignified work opportunities for the youth of Africa. We are going to invest heavily in deploying the creative industries as a formal, respectable economic engagement. And we have agreed as Kenya, we have discussed with Auda Nepad and colleagues with whom I have held bilateral meetings one on one that Kenya's Talanta Hela Initiative is now becoming Talanta Hela Africa. We are taking it continent-wide so that we can mobilize resources around identifying, nurturing, and monetizing talents of the youth of Africa. African youth, we believe in you. Don't be daunted. With Nelson Mandela, encouraged us by saying it always seems impossible until it is done.